Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Um, this is going to be the second in my HVAC safety series. Lockout, tag out. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you guys know about it already and practice it, but uh, for the guys that don't know what I'm talking about or what it is, um, it's basically a way to lock out, which is basically what it says, the lockout and tag out identify a breaker or an energy source but most likely being electrical for a uh, piece of equipment that you're working on this would also work for uh, say if you're working on a steam boiler or something like that you got to lock down a valve um, this kit's not that this is the electrical kit but they also do have um, for guys who do industrial and stuff wouldn't have big uh, lockouts for, for valves and things like that. So any type of energy that can harm you is harmful, um, you would use lockout tag out. Basically you put a lock on, you shut off your energy source, you put a lock on it, and uh, a tag. And it says do not remove. Okay. Um, this right here, this is a clamp that you would put on to lock out the device. Now notice how it has six holes. Okay, you can fit up to six locks on this. Okay, so if you're working with other trades, say you're setting a rooftop unit and uh, you got an electrician there with you, he's running the electrical, you know, and put a new disconnect on it, everything else. So you would lock out the main breaker in the uh, in the panel. He would put a lock on it, you would put a lock on it. So Say you're done, but he's not, okay? He doesn't want you turning the power back on and same, vice versa. Take your lock with your tag. You have your name on it. This is a brand new tag, so uh, I don't have my name on it, but take your lock. Boom, put it through the hole. Okay, you lock it. And then you can't open that, uh, that tag up anymore. So, uh... I'm going to do like a scenario. This is perfect for residential guys since I am actually at my house. Okay, this is my panel. My electrical panel is in the garage. Here's my air conditioner breaker. 30 amp double pull. Right now it's off. Okay. And guys are saying that, uh, well, I do residential. What do I need to lock out the breaker for? You know, I mean, I'm just, you know, I shut it off. I do my work and I go turn it back on. What's the big deal? Nobody's going to touch it. Well, I used to think that way too. When I uh, got out of my apprenticeship, um, I had worked uh, commercial industrial my whole apprenticeship. And I thought, oh, my first job after that, then after I stopped doing that for a little bit, was to work in residential. Figured, ah, easy, man, I know everything. I know it all. I've been to school. I've been did, did commercial industrial. I don't need to know how to. I mean, I knew how to lock out, tag out, but I, you know, I was a smart guy. I knew it all. So uh, started working at this industrial or commercial, not commercial, the residential company, and uh, we were changing out a uh, a full piece of equipment. Changing out the condenser, furnace, AC coil. And uh, one of the also things was we were putting on a brand new disconnect. Not a big deal, you know. So uh, my partner's downstairs. He's in the basement. He's swapping out the furnace and the coil. And I'm outside recovering refrigerant and disconnecting the condenser. So I disconnect the condenser and everything get that all set to go now I had already shut the power off in the basement mind you the panel was in the basement so I had shut the power off verified that the power was off at the unit at the disconnect I had pulled the disconnect you know the uh, locking block out of the wall and uh, I had no power there well unbeknownst to me the homeowner was also doing some work in the house and he saw a breaker off and he, he turned it back on. Now, 
I had the wires were separated at the unit so they didn't arc or anything like that. They weren't touching each other. So they were hot. <laughs> Lo and beknownst to me, I go to start to remove the disconnect off the wall and bam, I get shocked. You know, what the heck's going on? I go downstairs, boom, the breaker's on. Now I knew all about lockout tagout. I knew exactly what was supposed to be done, but I thought, oh, I'm doing residential, I don't need to do that. They were working, you know, I would do that in big commercial jobs. Well, that's that's a uh, good reason for this. Is, this is perfect for you residential guys, because this is a double pull breaker, 240 volts. Um, and uh, a lot of us work on equipment just like that. When you're changing out an outside condenser, you're usually also changing the disconnect if you're doing a, you know, unless the disconnect looks like brand new, but most of the time they're pretty ratty and old. So this basically, this, this little device here locks in between the breaker. Okay. And then you take your, you take your six way here and you put it in between there. And then you take your lock with your tag and notice also these locks have keys on them. Okay, and you are the only one that has the key. No, nobody else has this key. This is your lock. Okay, remember that also. You don't, not you and your buddy have have a each have a lock, have a lock, or you use the one lock, and that's it. So if you have you and your buddy are working on something, you and your buddy each have to have your own lock and your own key that are not key to like. Okay, because then. You can't be verified. Say your buddy, you know, he didn't ask you, hey, I'm, I'm done doing my work. I'm going to take the locks off and turn it on. Well, lo and behold, you're still working on a piece of equipment. Okay, so now this breaker's locked out. Now, granted, people will say, oh, well, somebody can just rip that off and take it off. Sure, yeah, they can. They can cut the lock off, break this plastic piece, and, and turn it back on. True. But you know what? You did everything. Now it'll actually, when somebody goes and sees this, because you can't close the panel now. So if you're at a homeowner's house and they are, decide to go poking their head in the breaker panel and they see this on there, they're going to go, dude, what that's, what's that for? And you know what? They're going to actually maybe come and ask you and say, hey, what's that tag you got on my electrical panel there for? And you can tell them, well, I have that on there so that nobody turns it on and kills me. And you know what? They'll perfectly understand because they're not going to want to kill you either. Hopefully, for some stupid mistake like that. So, um, it's a very simple device. You know, it takes five seconds to put it on. And uh, then you're good to go. Okay? And like I have different locks in here. Each one of these locks is keyed different. So that's why the keys are, are on this lock. Okay, now I... Uh, I carry a uh, one of these and the lock on my tool bag, on my Vito on the outside. If you've ever seen any of my, my uh, Vito uh, video, that uh, that was on the, uh, hangs on the outside of my uh, my bag, you know. And then I keep the keys in my pocket and I have, a, I have a, another lock that I use all the time. These are locks that came with the kit, so if I'm using these locks, if I'm using multiple, doing multiple pieces of equipment, I'll use different locks. Um, so then, uh, basically, and then you just, you got your key, you undo it. Take your locking device off, throw it back in your box. Take your breaker part off, and you can turn your power back on. It's as simple as that guys. And uh, this little device here will save your, save your, probably save your life if you're, you know, if you get hit with 240 and you're holding on to it, you're probably going to get electrocuted. And they have all different kinds. This is a different style for different style breakers. Um, and you can get all different styles. You can, you can get these at, like this set was purchased by my employer from Granger, okay, for us guys in the field, we each have our own. Uh, 
trucks, along with all our safety gear with our um, with our uh, linesman's gloves and all that stuff and our flash stuff and all our safety harnesses and all that crap. Um, but if you work by yourself, you own your own company, you don't have an employer to buy that stuff for you, so you have to buy it yourself. So you can get this stuff like a Granger. Um, I believe Gray Bar sells like these little things. That different breakers have different styles, style breakers for little tags and the little clamps and everything to lock them shut. So, uh, you know, and you, you, you may not even need this whole kit. You know, you may just need your tag, you know, lock this, you know, and you'd lock, you can lock disconnects because you'll see what disconnects, they have a little hole on there to lock the disconnect off. Same thing. So, uh, I figured I'd just, just something to go over, something to think about, guys. Um, very easy to do. Five, ten seconds will could save your life because there have been many guys who have been killed by co-workers just turning something on that they didn't realize that shouldn't have been on because it wasn't locked out. So take the time. Bug your employer if you don't have one of these. Like I said, if your employer if you work for somebody and you don't have this stuff and you feel you need it, it's the employer's responsibility to get it for you. They are responsible to provide all of your PPE, which is personal protective equipment, under OSHA. So, I mean, if you're worried about getting fired from a company that won't buy you some, some locks and tags, if they're that cheap, maybe you're not working for the right company because they're not valuing your life <laughs> for, you know, couple bucks in locks and, and things like that. So, uh, that's pretty much all I got to rant about right now. So, stay safe out there. Work safe. Um, take your time with stuff. Like I said, if it's stuff that you're not, don't understand or are nervous about when you're doing it out in the field, when you're new or... Even if you've been doing this a long time, you're working on a different piece of equipment. Take your time with it. Look at it, okay? Um, you know, be methodical with checking to make sure power is off on it when you're working on it. Because it's not worth, it's not worth dying over. Alright guys, have a good day. And uh, comment in the, uh, on the video, let me know what you think about the series so far. Um... Let me know uh, what other types of safety things you're looking for, your kind of safety concerns, anything like that. Um, anything that I can help with. Uh, feel free to ask them in the comments, and uh, I'll try and provide answers for you. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.